Laura is an accountant. She works at a big company the city. Every, she wakes up at 7 o'clock. She drinks a cup of coffee and eats some toast for breakfast. Laura takes a shower and gets dressed in a nice suit. She looks professional and ready for work. At 8 o'clock, Laura leaves her apartment and walks to the subway station. She always listens to music on her way to work. It helps her relax and prepare for the day. After a short ride, Laura arrives at her office building. When Laura gets to work, she says hello to her colleagues and goes to her desk. She starts by checking her email. There are always a lot of emails from her clients and colleagues. Laura responds to them one by one, making sure to be polite and professional. She likes staying organized, so she uses a spreadsheet to keep track of her tasks for the day. Next, Laura starts working on the financial statements for a big project. She looks at numbers and calculations all morning. Sometimes it can be challenging, but Laura enjoys solving problems. She double-checks her work to make sure everything is accurate. At lunchtime, Laura goes to the cafeteria. She often eats a sandwich and has a chat with her co-workers. They talk about their families and share funny. It's a nice break from work. After lunch, Laura has a with her boss. They discuss the progress of the project and if there are any issues that need to be solved. Laura takes notes and asks questions to understand better. Back at her desk, Laura continues working on the financial statements. She enters data into the computer and makes sure all the numbers match. Sometimes she needs to make adjustments to the figures. It's important to be precise in accounting. At 5 o'clock, Laura finishes her work for the day. She packs up her things and says goodbye to her co-workers. Laura walks to the subway station and listens to her favorite podcast on the way back home. When she arrives, she prepares dinner and relaxes for the evening. Being an accountant is not always easy, but Laura loves her job. Every day she learns new things and helps her clients with their financial matters. She enjoys working with numbers and making sure everything is in order. Laura feels proud to be an accountant and is excited for what the future will bring in her career. Every morning, my alarm clock rings at 7 o'clock. It's time to wake up and start a brand new day. I jump out of my cozy bed and stretch my arms as wide as I can. Then, I rub my sleepy eyes and smile, ready to face the day ahead. First things first, I head straight to the bathroom to freshen up. I turn on the tap and splash cold water on my face. It feels so refreshing. Then, I brush my teeth, making sure to reach every nook and cranny. I like to keep my teeth clean and shiny. Next, I take a quick shower to wash off any sleepiness lingering on my body. Once I'm all clean, I head to the kitchen to prepare my breakfast. I believe that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, so I always make sure to have a hearty meal. I pour some milk over a bowl of cereal and add a sprinkle of sugar for some sweetness. I love the crunchy sound the cereal makes as I munch on it. To accompany my cereal, I slice some fresh fruits, like bananas and strawberries, and place them in a bowl. It adds a pop of color to my breakfast table. With a full tummy, it's time to get dressed for the day. I carefully pick out my clothes, making sure they are both comfortable and presentable. Today, I have a meeting at work. So I choose a crisp white shirt and a pair of black pants. I neatly tuck my shirt into my pants and fasten a belt around my waist. Then, I slip on my black leather shoes and tie the laces tightly. I take one last look in the mirror to make sure I look smart and professional. Before leaving my apartment, I quickly check that I have everything I need for the day. I grab my bag, which contains my laptop, notebooks, and pens. I also make sure to pack my lunch as I prefer to eat a homemade meal at work. Today, I have a delicious sandwich with chicken, lettuce, and tomatoes. It's one of my favorites. I step outside and inhale the fresh morning air. The sun is shining brightly, and the birds are chirping happily. I walk a few steps to the bus stop, where I wait patiently for the bus to arrive.
As soon as it appears, I hop on and find a seat by the window. I enjoy watching the buildings and scenery pass by as the bus takes me to my workplace. The journey might be a bit long, but it gives me time to relax and prepare for the day. When I arrive at work, I greet my colleagues with a warm smile and exchange a few small talk. It's always nice to start the day on a positive note. I settle down at my desk and turn on my computer. Emails and tasks await me, but I'm ready to tackle them head on. Throughout the day, I attend meetings, answer phone calls, and work on various projects. It can get quite busy, but I enjoy the challenge. My colleagues are helpful and supportive, and we work as a team to achieve our goals. We take short breaks to stretch our legs and grab a quick coffee from the office kitchen. It's a good opportunity to chat and catch up with each other. As the day comes to an end, I tidy up my desk and prepare to head home. I bid farewell to my colleagues and make my way to the bus stop. The bus arrives, and I find a seat near the window just like in the morning. I watch the city lights flicker as we drive through the busy streets. It's a calming sight after a long day of work. Finally, I arrive back at my apartment. I kick off my shoes, change into comfortable clothes, and relax on the couch. I like to unwind by watching my favorite TV show or reading a book. It's the perfect way to end the day. Eventually, sleep calls and beckons me to my cozy bed. I close my eyes, feeling grateful for the day that has passed and excited for the new adventures that await me in the morning. It's time to rest and recharge, so I can wake up refreshed and ready for whatever the next day brings. And so, the cycle repeats, day after day, as I embrace the beauty of each new sunrise and the possibilities it holds. Meet Emily, a talented actress who lives in the bustling city of London. Her daily routine is filled with excitement and creativity as she pursues her passion for the performing arts. Emily's day typically begins bright and early. She sets her alarm clock for 6 a.m., ensuring she has plenty of time to get ready before her busy day begins. After dragging herself out of bed, she starts her morning with a refreshing shower to wake herself up. Once she's feeling more alert, Emily makes her way to the kitchen where she prepares a hearty breakfast. Today, she decides to have scrambled eggs, toast, and a cup of coffee. As she enjoys her meal, she takes a moment to go over her schedule for the day. After breakfast, Emily makes sure to gather all of her belongings for the day ahead. She carefully packs her script, makeup bag, and a change of clothes into her trusty backpack. With everything in tow, she heads out the door and onto the bustling streets of London. Emily's first stop of the day is her acting class. She attends classes five days a week to constantly improve her skills as an actress. Her class begins at 9 a.m., giving her plenty of time to navigate the city's public transportation system. As she rides the underground, Emily takes advantage of the commute by reviewing her lines for an upcoming audition. The train is packed with people but she manages to find a spot to stand and focus on her work. Once she arrives at her destination, Emily enters the acting studio with a sense of eagerness and determination. She joins her classmates and their instructor for a warm-up exercise, which helps them get in tune with their bodies and voices. The morning class typically consists of various acting exercises and improvisation games. They focus on building their emotional range, memorizing dialogue, and practicing different acting techniques. Emily never shies away from a challenge and always gives her best effort, pushing herself to new heights. When the clock strikes noon, Emily and her classmates take a short break. They gather in the common area, where they share stories, jokes, and laughter. It's a chance to relax and bond with one another before diving back into the creative process. After the break, the afternoon class begins. This part of the day is dedicated to scene work. Emily is assigned a scene partner and together they dive into the world of a particular play or film. They rehearse their lines, work on their blocking, and focus on bringing their characters to life. 
The day at acting school wraps up around 4 p.m. Emily leaves the studio feeling both mentally and physically drained but fulfilled. She heads back home, allowing herself to decompress on the journey. Once she arrives home, Emily changes into comfortable clothes and takes a moment to unwind. She enjoys sitting in her cozy living room, sipping on a cup of herbal tea, and catching up on her favorite TV series. It's her way of escaping into another world and taking a break from the demands of her profession. Of course, being an actress doesn't just involve attending classes. Emily often has auditions and rehearsals to attend as well. In the evening, she might find herself auditioning for a commercial or a small theater production. These opportunities allow her to showcase her talent and make connections in the industry. After a long day of auditions or rehearsals, Emily returns home feeling tired but satisfied. She prepares herself a simple dinner, such as a salad or a bowl of pasta, before settling down for the evening. Before bed, Emily takes a moment to reflect on her day and jot down any ideas or emotions that may have arisen during her acting classes or rehearsals. It's a way for her to continue growing as an actress and keep track of her progress. As she drifts off to sleep, Emily knows that tomorrow will bring new challenges and exciting opportunities. Despite the hard work and dedication required, she wouldn't trade her profession for anything else. Acting allows her to express herself and touch the lives of others through her performances, and that is truly something remarkable. My name is Sarah and I am an architect. I like to tell you my daily routine as an architect. Being an architect is an exciting and challenging job that involves designing buildings and structures. I start my day early in the morning. I usually wake up at 6 o'clock and have a hearty breakfast before leaving for work. As an architect, I have a busy schedule, so it's important for me to have a good start to the day. Once I arrive at the office, I check my emails and respond to any urgent messages. Then, I begin my work on designing new structures or improving existing buildings. This involves creating detailed drawings and plans. I use special computer software called AutoCAD to create these blueprints. During the morning, I often have meetings with clients. These meetings are important because I need to understand their requirements and preferences. It's important to have good communication skills as an architect so that I can fully understand the needs of my clients. After the meetings, I go back to my desk and continue working on the designs. I am always trying to find innovative solutions to design problems. It's important to be creative and think outside the box as an architect. In the afternoon, I sometimes visit construction sites. This is an exciting part of my job because I get to see my designs come to life. I check the progress of the construction and make sure that everything is going according to plan. It's important to have a keen eye for detail as an architect to ensure that the building is constructed accurately. In addition to designing buildings, I also collaborate with other professionals such as engineers and builders. We work as a team to ensure that the project is completed successfully. Teamwork is an essential part of being an architect. During the day, I also spend time researching new architectural trends and materials. It's important to stay updated with the latest developments in the field. I often read books and articles on architecture to gather inspiration from other renowned architects. As the day comes to an end, I finish up any remaining tasks and make sure that all the necessary documents are organized and stored properly. It's important to be organized as an architect to keep track of the progress of each project. After work, I like to relax and unwind. I enjoy going for a walk in the park or spending time with friends and family. It's important to have a good work-life balance as an architect to avoid burnout. Being an architect is a rewarding and fulfilling profession. It involves designing buildings, collaborating with others, and staying updated with the latest trends in architecture. While it can be challenging at times, the joy of seeing my designs come to life makes it all worth it. I hope this glimpse into my daily routine as an architect has been informative and inspiring for you as you embark on your journey in the world of architecture. Meet Maria, 
a hardworking nurse who plays a crucial role in keeping people healthy and safe. Every day, Maria follows a strict routine filled with important tasks and responsibilities. Maria's day typically starts at 6 o'clock in the morning. She wakes up feeling refreshed after a restful sleep. The very first thing she does is make her bed and tidy up her room. Maria believes that an organized space sets the tone for a productive day. After getting ready, Maria enjoys a nutritious breakfast to fuel her body for the long day ahead. She usually has a bowl of cereal with fresh fruit a cup of tea. Breakfast is an essential part of her routine, as it helps her stay energized throughout her busy workday. At 7 o'clock, Maria leaves her apartment and heads to the hospital where she works. She travels by bus, which saves her time and allows her to avoid traffic. During her commute, she enjoys listening to soothing music to help her relax and prepare for the day ahead. Upon arriving at the hospital, Maria puts on her uniform and gets ready for her shift. She works in the emergency department, which means she deals with various patients throughout the day. Her main responsibilities include assessing patients' conditions, listening to their concerns, and providing them with the necessary treatments or medication. One of Maria's favorite parts of her job is the opportunity to interact with different people. She enjoys talking to patients, comforting them, and answering their questions. Maria believes that empathy and kindness go a long way in making patients feel more at ease during their hospital stay. Throughout the day, Maria stays busy attending to patients and collaborating with other healthcare professionals. She also helps with tasks like taking vitals, dressing wounds, and administering medication as authorized by doctors. Maria carefully follows the hospital's protocols to ensure safety and provide the best possible care. Around noon, Maria takes a short break to have her lunch. She usually brings a packed meal from home consisting of a salad, a sandwich, and some fruit. Sometimes, she enjoys eating with her colleagues in the hospital cafeteria, where they share stories and take a break from their demanding schedules. After finishing her lunch, Maria jumps right back into work. She is always ready for any unexpected situation that may arise. As a nurse, she knows that emergencies can happen at any time, so she stays alert and prepared to act swiftly. Towards the end of her shift, Maria takes some time to document her patient's progress and communicate this information to the next shift nurse. Clear and accurate documentation is essential for providing continuity of care and ensuring that all patient information is properly recorded. Once Maria's shift is over, she heads home feeling fulfilled and proud of her work. She knows that by making a positive impact on people's lives, she is contributing to the greater good. Maria takes this responsibility seriously and is excited to continue growing in her profession. After reaching home, Maria likes to unwind and relax by reading a book or spending time with her family. To maintain a healthy work-life balance, she tries to leave work-related stress at the hospital and focus on personal well-being outside of her job. Before going to bed, Maria reflects on her day and feels grateful for the opportunity to make a difference in people's lives. She knows that her role as a nurse is challenging but incredibly rewarding, and she looks forward to more fulfilling days in the future. Maria's daily routine is a testament to her dedication as a nurse. Through her compassion, hard work, and unwavering commitment, she makes a positive impact on the lives of her patients and the healthcare community as a whole. Wake up, a day in the life of a civil engineer. Have you ever wondered what it's like to be a civil engineer? Do you want to know what they do a daily basis? Well, today is your lucky day. In this article, we will take a closer look at the life of a civil engineer and discover what their routine looks like. So, grab a cup of coffee and get ready to learn. The alarm clock rings at 6 a.m. It's time to wake up and the day. Our civil engineer, let's call him John, starts his morning by stretching and doing a few exercises to get energized for the day ahead. He knows how important it is to take care of his body, especially since his job requires a lot of physical activity. After getting ready, 
John heads to the construction site. As a civil engineer, he is responsible for managing and overseeing construction projects. Today, he will be working on a new bridge that is being built in the city. It's an exciting project, but also a challenging one. When John arrives at the site, he meets with the construction workers and goes over the plans for the day. He makes sure everyone understands their tasks and that everything is running smoothly. Communication is key in his line of work, so he always makes an effort to keep everyone on the same page. One of the first things John does is inspect the work that was done the previous day. He checks the progress of the bridge and makes sure everything is being built according to the plans. If he notices any mistakes or problems, he takes immediate action to fix them. Attention to detail is crucial in his job, as even the smallest error can have a big impact. Throughout the day, John wears many hats. Besides overseeing the construction, he also coordinates with suppliers to ensure all the materials needed are delivered on time. He also keeps track of the project's budget and makes sure it stays on track. Being organized and good with numbers are essential skills for a civil engineer. As the day goes on, John faces various challenges. Sometimes there are unexpected issues that arise, like bad weather or equipment malfunctions. In these situations, he needs to think quickly and find solutions to keep the project on schedule. Problem solving is a fundamental part of his job, and he enjoys the thrill of finding creative solutions. Another important aspect of John's job is teamwork. He works closely with architects, surveyors, and other professionals to ensure the project is a success. Collaboration is essential in the field of civil engineering, as different experts bring their unique perspectives and knowledge to the table. As the sun sets, John wraps up his day at the construction site. But his job doesn't end there. He heads back to the office to review the day's progress and prepare for tomorrow. He spends some time updating the project's documentation and making sure everything is in order. At around 7 p.m., John finally gets to go home. He takes a well-deserved break and spends time with his family and friends. He enjoys sharing stories about his work and the challenges he faces as a civil engineer. He is proud of what he does and finds fulfillment in seeing his projects come to life. After a good night's sleep, John wakes up the next day ready to do it all over again. Being a civil engineer is no easy task, but for him, it's a passion. He loves the excitement of seeing a project come together and the satisfaction of knowing that his work contributes to building a better world. So, if you're thinking about becoming a civil engineer, remember that it requires hard work, dedication, and a love for problem solving but it is also a rewarding career that offers endless opportunities for growth. So, wake up and embrace the challenges, because the world needs more passionate civil engineers like John. Wake up, a day in the of a computer programmer. Welcome to the world computer programming. In this article, we will take a closer look at the daily routine of a computer programmer. We will follow John, a real-life programmer, and discover what his typical day looks like. So, let's dive in and explore the exciting and challenging life of a computer programmer. Morning Routine John's day begins promptly at 6.30 a.m. when his alarm clock rings. After hitting the snooze button a couple of times, he finally wakes up, stretches, and gets out of bed. As he walks into the kitchen, he starts brewing a strong cup of coffee to help kick-start his brain. After having his breakfast, John heads to his home office, where his computer eagerly awaits him. He logs in and starts checking his emails and messages from colleagues. This allows him to stay up to date with any urgent tasks or project updates. Planning and coding. To stay organized and productive, John often spends the first half hour of his workday creating a to-do list. This way, he can prioritize his tasks and have a clear plan for the day. He sets achievable goals for himself to ensure he can accomplish them within the given time frame. Once he has his plan in place, John begins coding. He loves the feeling of bringing lines of code to life, solving problems, and creating innovative software. 
Sometimes, he collaborates with other programmers to brainstorm ideas and find the best solutions to complex coding challenges. Lunch break. After a morning filled with coding and intense problem solving, it's time for a well-deserved lunch break. John takes a break from his computer and prepares a quick and healthy lunch. He believes that taking breaks and refueling his body and mind is crucial for staying focused and productive. During his lunch break, John often reads tech-related articles to keep up with the latest trends and developments in the world of programming. This helps him stay inspired and constantly learn new techniques and languages. Testing and debugging. Once John has recharged, he dives back into his code, focusing on testing and debugging. This involves running the program he's working on and identifying any errors or issues that need fixing. Debugging requires a keen eye for detail and a methodical approach. John does a series of tests to ensure that the software he is creating works as intended. Sometimes, he encounters bugs that can be frustrating, but he remains patient and committed to finding solutions. Debugging is a crucial part of the programming process and helps ensure the final product is reliable and user-friendly. Collaboration and communication. As the workday progresses, John often attends meetings and conference calls. These meetings allow him to collaborate with other programmers, project managers, and clients. Clear communication is essential in ensuring that everyone is on the same page and that projects are running smoothly. John enjoys collaborating with his team, bouncing ideas off each other, and finding creative solutions to challenges. This teamwork fosters a supportive and dynamic work environment, which contributes to his overall job satisfaction. End of the day. As the day comes to a close, John spends some time organizing his workspace and making sure his tasks for the day are complete. He doesn't like leaving unfinished work for the next day. Before shutting down his computer, John takes a few minutes to reflect on his day's accomplishments. He marks off completed tasks from his to-do list and evaluates his productivity. This helps him track his progress and identify areas for improvement. Being a computer programmer is an exciting and ever-evolving profession. From tackling complex coding challenges to collaborating with a team, every day brings new opportunities for growth and learning. John's daily routine provides insight into the rewarding and fulfilling life of a computer programmer. So, if you find yourself drawn to coding and problem solving, a career in programming might just be for you. Wake up. A day in the life of a dentist. Every morning, the alarm clock goes off. Dr. Samuel wakes up with a smile on his face. He is a dentist, and he his job. Today, let's take a closer look at his daily routine. After waking up, Dr. Samuel starts his day by brushing his teeth. As a dentist, he understands the importance of good oral hygiene. He takes his time, making sure to clean every tooth carefully. He uses toothpaste with fluoride to keep his teeth strong and healthy. Next, Dr. Samuel enjoys a healthy breakfast. He knows that starting the day with a nutritious meal is essential. He usually eats fruit, yogurt, and whole grain toast. Sometimes, he also has a cup of coffee to give him an extra boost of energy. Once he finishes his breakfast, Dr. Samuel gets ready for work. He puts on his white lab coat, which is a symbol of his profession. It makes him feel confident and professional. He also wears a mask and gloves to ensure the safety and hygiene of his patients. Dr. Samuel drives to his dental clinic, listening to his favorite music in the car. He likes to begin his day on a positive note. When he arrives, his dental assistant greets him with a warm smile. She helps him prepare his instruments and sterilize them to make sure they are clean and safe for the patients. Dr. Samuel's first patient of the day is a young girl named Emily. She's nervous and scared, so Dr. Samuel takes the time to explain the procedure to her in a gentle and reassuring manner. He asks her about her favorite hobbies to distract her from any discomfort. With his kind and friendly approach, he can help calm her fears and make her feel more comfortable in the dentist's chair. Throughout the day, Dr. Samuel sees patients with different dental issues. 
Some need a simple teeth cleaning, while others require more complicated treatments like fillings or extractions. He always takes the time to thoroughly examine their teeth and discuss their concerns, making sure they understand their treatment options. During his lunch break, Dr. Samuel usually takes a walk outside. He likes to enjoy some fresh air and clear his mind before returning to the clinic. He knows that taking care of his own well-being is just as important as taking care of his patients. In the afternoon, Dr. Samuel attends a dental conference to stay updated on the latest advancements in dentistry. He believes that continuous learning is crucial for providing the best care to his patients. He listens attentively to the speakers and takes notes, eager to implement new techniques and technologies in his practice. At the end of the day, Dr. Samuel finishes his last appointment and starts preparing for the next day. He cleans and organizes his instruments, ensuring everything is ready for the next morning. He then bids farewell to his dental assistant and locks up the clinic. On his way home, Dr. Samuel reflects on his day. He feels fulfilled knowing that he has helped improve his patients' oral health and put a smile on their faces. Being a dentist is not just a job for him, it's a passion. When he arrives home, Dr. Samuel takes some time for himself. He enjoys a healthy dinner and spends quality time with his family. He knows the importance of balancing work and personal life to maintain overall happiness and well being. As Dr. Samuel lays in bed, ready to sleep, he smiles knowing that he made a positive impact on people's lives today. Tomorrow will be another day filled with challenges and opportunities to help others achieve a healthy and beautiful smile. So, if you're considering a career as a dentist, know that it requires dedication, compassion, and a genuine love for improving people's dental health. Wake up every day with a smile just like Dr. Samuel, and make a difference in the world of dentistry. Have you ever wondered what's like to be a doctor? Doctors are important professionals who help people stay healthy and treat illnesses or injuries. They have a very busy routine. And today we will look into the daily life of one doctor. Let's meet Dr. Smith, a dedicated doctor who wakes up early every day to start his busy schedule. His alarm goes off at 6 a.m., and even though he might be a bit tired, he knows that there are patients waiting for him at the hospital. After stretching and yawning, Dr. Smith gets out of bed and heads straight to the bathroom to wash his face and brush his teeth. It's important to start the day with good hygiene habits, just like Dr. Smith does. Once he's freshened up, he puts on his white lab coat, ready to face the day. Dr. Smith likes to have a healthy breakfast before leaving for work. He knows that a balanced meal will give him energy to tackle the long day ahead. He usually has a bowl of oatmeal with fruits and a cup of coffee to wake him up. At 7 a.m., Dr. Smith leaves his house and gets into his car. He lives close to the hospital, so the commute is not too long. As he drives, he listens to some calming music to relax and prepare mentally for the day ahead. When Dr. Smith arrives at the hospital, he heads straight to his office to check his schedule for the day. He sees that he has a variety of patients to see, including children, adults, and seniors. Each patient is unique, and Dr. Smith knows that he needs to be prepared to handle their different medical needs. The first patient of the day is a child with a high fever. Dr. Smith greets the child with a warm smile and asks some questions to understand the symptoms better. He knows that children can feel scared in the hospital, so he does his best to create a calm and friendly environment. After examining the child, Dr. Smith prescribes some medication and advises the parents on how to take care of their little one. As the day continues, Dr. Smith sees more patients with different illnesses and injuries. He treats a broken arm, helps a patient with asthma manage their symptoms, and even provides support to someone with anxiety. It's a challenging but fulfilling job for Dr. Smith, knowing that he is making a difference in people's lives. During his lunch break, Dr. Smith takes a short walk outside to get some fresh air and clear his mind. 
It's important for him to take care of his own well-being too. He eats a healthy meal, consisting of a salad and a sandwich, to refuel his body for the rest of the day. In the afternoon, Dr. Smith attends meetings with other doctors and healthcare professionals. They discuss new treatment options and share their experiences to learn from each other. Collaboration is an important part of being a doctor, as they work together to provide the best care for their patients. As the sun starts to set, Dr. Smith finishes up his last appointments for the day. He takes a few moments to write down notes about each patient, making sure that their medical records are updated. Attention to detail is crucial in the field of medicine, as it helps provide accurate diagnoses and treatments. Finally, Dr. Smith heads back home, feeling satisfied with his day's work. He knows that being a doctor is not just a job but a calling to help others. It can be challenging and demanding, but the rewards of seeing patients recover and lead healthy lives make it all worth it. Once back home, Dr. Smith has a light dinner and spends some quality time with his family. He enjoys catching up on their day and relaxing before it's time to go to bed. He knows that a good night's sleep is essential to recharge and be ready for another day of taking care of others. And just like that, Dr. Smith's day as a doctor comes to an end. He goes to bed, knowing that tomorrow will bring new challenges and opportunities to make a positive impact on people's lives. Being a doctor is a noble profession, and Dr. Smith is proud to be a part of it. Being a doctor is a demanding but rewarding profession. It requires dedication, empathy, and expertise to provide the best care for patients. From treating illnesses to providing support, doctors like Dr. Smith play a vital role in keeping our communities healthy. So, the next time you see a doctor, remember the hard work and commitment they put into their everyday lives to make a difference in ours. The Daily Routine of an Economist do you ever wonder what the routine of an economist looks like? Well, let me take you on a journey through a typical day in the life of a real economist. Are you ready to wake up and see what lies ahead? First things first, waking up early is key for an economist. Most economists start their day bright and early at 6 a.m. They know that time is money, so they make sure to get a head start on their day. After hitting the snooze button a couple of times, it's time to get out of bed and start the day. Once our economist is up and freshened up, it's time for a hearty breakfast to fuel the brain. A bowl of oatmeal, a slice of toast, and a cup of coffee are on the menu. As the saying goes, breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and economists take that to heart. Now that our economist is energized and ready to tackle the day, it's time to head to the office. Commuting can be a bit of a hassle, but with a podcast playing in the background, it becomes an opportunity to learn something new. It's always good to stay up to date on the latest economic trends and theories. Arriving at the office, our economist starts by checking emails and making a to-do list for the day. Organization is key in this line of work, as economists juggle multiple projects and deadlines. As a beginner economist, it's important to prioritize tasks and stay focused. As the morning progresses, meetings and conference calls fill up the schedule. Discussing economic theories, analyzing data, and brainstorming solutions are all part of the job. Sometimes, these meetings can be quite intense, with everyone sharing their ideas and debating the best course of action. Lunchtime rolls around, and our economist takes a break to refuel. A packed lunch is brought from home, usually consisting of a sandwich, some fruits, and a bottle of water. It's important to keep the body nourished and energized throughout the day. After lunch, it's time for some deep diving into data. Economists spend a significant amount of time analyzing and interpreting economic data to make informed decisions. Excel spreadsheets and statistical software are their best friends. They love crunching numbers and finding patterns that others might overlook. As the clock approaches 5 p.m., it's time to start wrapping up the day. Our economist takes a few moments to review the progress made and update the to-do list for the next day. 
It's important to have a clear plan for the following day, ensuring that deadlines are met and projects stay on track. Leaving the office, our economist heads to the gym for a workout session. Physical exercise is essential for both mental and physical well-being. It helps clear the mind and relieve stress, ensuring that our economist is ready for whatever challenges lie ahead. After a refreshing workout, it's time to wind down and relax. Our economist enjoys some leisure time, whether it's reading a book, watching a movie, or spending quality time with family and friends. It's important to find a balance between work and personal life. Finally, it's time for bed. Our economist knows the importance of getting a good night's sleep to recharge for another productive day ahead. With a peaceful mind, they drift off to sleep, ready to wake up and do it all over again. And there you have it, a glimpse into the daily routine of an economist. From waking up early to analyzing data and staying active, being an economist is a challenging yet rewarding profession. If you're considering a career in economics, remember that it requires dedication, critical thinking, and an insatiable curiosity about the world of numbers and trends. So wake up, put on your economist hat, and embark on a journey of economic exploration. Good luck! A day in the life of an electric. Hello, beginner learners. Today, we going to take a look at the daily routine of a real-life electrician. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Every morning, our electrician, James, wakes up early to start his day. He always sets multiple alarms to make sure he never oversleeps. After a good night's sleep, he gets out of bed, stretches, and brushes his teeth it's important to start the day feeling fresh and ready for anything. Once he's all cleaned up, James has a hearty breakfast. He believes that having a nutritious meal in the morning is essential for a productive day. He usually eats some toast, scrambled eggs, and drinks a cup of coffee to help him wake up fully. Now, James is ready to head out for work. He puts on his work clothes, which consist of a comfortable pair of jeans and a durable shirt. He also wears protective gear like gloves and a hard hat to ensure his safety while on the job. On his way to work, James listens to his favorite music or a podcast. This helps him relax and gets him in the right frame of mind for the day ahead. He likes to learn new things or listen to motivational speeches that inspire him to be the best electrician he can be. Once he arrives at the job site, James meets with his team and discusses the tasks for the day. As an electrician, he works on various projects like installing electrical systems in new buildings or repairing existing ones. His team plans out the tasks and assigns roles to each member. Throughout the day, James uses a variety of tools and equipment to complete his work. These tools include wire cutters, pliers, and a voltage tester. He also uses a ladder to reach higher areas where he needs to install lights or fix electrical problems. Safety is of utmost importance, and James always double-checks that everything is properly connected and insulated to prevent accidents. Most days, James works on multiple projects simultaneously. He has to manage his time and prioritize tasks to ensure everything gets done. He often collaborates with other professionals like plumbers or construction workers, as their work often overlaps. Cooperation and good communication are key. Lunchtime is a much-needed break for James. He usually packs a homemade sandwich and some fruits. He enjoys eating outdoors and taking a short walk to recharge his mind. Sometimes, he chats with his colleagues about their hobbies or plans for the weekend. It's important to have a good work-life balance. In the afternoon, James often encounters challenges that require problem-solving skills. He may need to troubleshoot an electrical issue or find an alternative solution if the original plan doesn't work. Patience and critical thinking are essential in these situations. As the day comes to an end, James wraps up his tasks and ensures that everything is in order. He cleans up his work area and packs up his tools. Before leaving, he always does a final inspection to make sure there are no loose wires or potential hazards. After a long day of work, James heads back home. 
He likes to wind down by spending time with his family, watching a movie or playing a game. It's important to have some downtime to relax and recharge for the next day. Bedtime approaches, and James prepares for a good night's sleep. He reflects on his day, thinking about the challenges he faced and the rewarding feeling of fixing electrical problems. He knows that his work is important and that he plays a vital role in ensuring that buildings have safe and reliable electrical systems. And with that, it's time for James to say good night. He closes his eyes, ready to recharge his energy for another exciting day as an electrician. Remember, it's never too early to start thinking about your dreams and what you want to be when you grow up. Maybe you'll become an electrician like James one day. So, beginner English learners, did you enjoy this glimpse into the life of an electrician? We hope it was informative and inspiring. Keep working hard and never stop learning. The possibilities are endless. Wake up, the daily routine of an elementary school teacher. Have you ever wondered what's like to be an elementary school teacher? Well, me take you on a journey through the daily routine of a real elementary school teacher. Get ready to join me as we wake up and experience a day in the life of an educator. 6 a.m. the alarm goes off, and it's time to wake up. As an elementary school teacher, it's important to start the day early to prepare for the exciting adventure that awaits. I quickly change into my comfortable yet professional clothes and make sure I have everything I need for the day lesson plans, materials, and a positive attitude. 7 a.m. after a refreshing shower. It's time for breakfast. A nutritious meal is essential to keep me energized throughout the day. I quickly grab a bowl of cereal and a cup of coffee, savoring the flavors while mentally preparing for the day ahead. 8 a.m. It's time to head to school. I hop in my car and drive through the quiet streets, knowing that soon they will be filled with the laughter and joy of young students. As I arrive at the school, I see parents dropping off their kids and waves of excitement begin to fill the air. 8.30 a.m. My first task of the day is to prepare the classroom for our learning journey. I organize the desks, arrange the materials, and display colorful charts. I want my students to feel welcome and inspired as they enter our little world of learning. 9 a.m. The students start to arrive, their faces brimming with curiosity and anticipation. I greet each one with a smile and a warm, good morning. As they settle into their seats, I remind them to unpack their backpacks and get ready for the day. 9.15 a.m. The day officially begins with the morning routine. We stand together for the Pledge of Allegiance, recite the school's motto, and sing a lively song to energize our minds and bodies. It's remarkable how these simple rituals bring us closer as a classroom community. 9.30 a.m. Our first lesson of the day is English. We dive into the world of letters, words, and sentences. We practice reading and writing together, encouraging one another to express our thoughts and ideas. I am amazed by the progress my students make each day, their enthusiasm shining through their eyes. 10.30 a.m. Time for a short break. We head to the playground where laughter fills the air. My students run, jump, and play, releasing their energy before we continue with the day's activities. It's important for them to have a chance to relax and refresh their minds. 11 a.m. Math is next on our agenda. We explore numbers, shapes, and patterns. I use various manipulatives and games to make learning a fun and engaging experience. We solve problems together, developing critical thinking skills that will stay with them for a lifetime. 12 p.m. It's lunchtime. We gather in the cafeteria where the chatter and laughter echo through the room. We enjoy our meals together, sharing stories and jokes. This time allows us to build relationships and strengthen the bonds within our classroom community. 1 p.m. after lunch, it's time for science. We conduct experiments, observe nature, and learn about the wonders of the world around us. My students are filled with awe and curiosity as they discover new things, their eyes shining with excitement. 2 p.m. social studies is our last lesson of the day. We explore different cultures, 
learn about historical events, and think about the world beyond our own experiences. It's important to nurture open-mindedness and empathy in our young learners. 3 p.m. The school day is nearing its end, but the learning doesn't stop there. We reflect on the day's lessons and take a moment to appreciate the progress we've made. I share a story or engage the students in a discussion, encouraging them to express their thoughts and opinions. 3.30 p.m. The students gather their belongings and get ready to go home. I bid them farewell, reminding them to continue their learning journey even outside the classroom. As they file out, I feel a sense of pride knowing that I have made a positive impact on their lives. 4 p.m. Now it's time for me to finish up my work for the day. I review the day's lessons, grade assignments, and plan for the next day. As an educator, it's crucial to constantly reflect on my teaching practices and seek opportunities for growth. 5 p.m. With my work done, it's time to take a well-deserved break. I unwind by taking a walk, reading a book, or engaging in a hobby that brings me joy. It's important to take care of myself so that I can continue to inspire and guide my students. 6 p.m. As the day comes to a close, I reflect on the challenges and triumphs I experienced. Being an elementary school teacher is a rewarding and fulfilling profession. Every day brings new discoveries, laughter, and the joy of watching young minds blossom. So, there you have it a glimpse into the daily routine of an elementary school teacher. Our days are filled with excitement, challenges, and countless opportunities to make a difference. If you're considering this profession, know that it requires dedication, patience, and a passion for shaping young lives. Now, it's your turn to reflect. What aspects of this daily routine resonate with you? Are you inspired by the thought of guiding young learners on their journey of discovery? Only you can decide if being an elementary school teacher is your calling. But remember, with hard work and perseverance, you can wake up every day knowing that you are making a positive impact on the world. A day in the life of a fashion designer. Have you ever wondered what it's like to be a fashion designer? Well, get ready to dive into the daily routine of one. In this article, we will follow the exciting and busy life of a real fashion designer named Sarah. Sarah's alarm clock rings at 7 a.m., and she wakes up feeling refreshed and eager to start her day. The first thing she does is reach for her phone to check her emails and messages. As a fashion designer, Sarah needs to stay updated on the latest trends and communicate with clients and suppliers. After browsing through her emails, Sarah heads to the kitchen to make herself a cup of coffee. It's a crucial part of her morning routine as it helps her to wake up and gather her thoughts. While sipping her coffee, she likes to sketch out ideas for upcoming designs. Today, Sarah is working on a collection inspired by nature, so she draws intricate floral patterns on her sketchbook. Once she finishes her coffee, Sarah heads to her home office. She has a cozy little space filled with colorful fabrics, fashion magazines, and her trusty sewing machine. She turns on her computer and starts organizing her tasks for the day. Today, she needs to finalize a design for a client source materials, and meet with her team. At 9 a.m., Sarah joins a video call with her team. They discuss their progress on ongoing projects and brainstorm ideas for future collections. It's important for a fashion designer to collaborate with others and gather different perspectives. Sarah loves hearing her team's ideas and bouncing ideas off of them. After the meeting, it's time for lunch. Sarah takes a break from her work and prepares herself a fresh salad. As a fashion designer, it's important for her to take care of her body and mind. She believes that a healthy lifestyle contributes to her creativity and productivity. In the afternoon, Sarah heads out to source materials for her upcoming collection. She visits fabric stores, trimming suppliers, and accessory shops. This part of her job requires her to have a keen eye for details and a good sense of color coordination. Sometimes, she spends hours searching for the perfect fabric or accessory that matches her vision. Back at her studio, Sarah starts working on the design she needs to finalize for her client. 
She drapes the fabric on her mannequin, carefully cutting and stitching it together. It's a meticulous process that requires patience and precision. Sarah loves the feeling of transforming a piece of fabric into a beautiful garment. In the evening, Sarah takes a break from her work and goes for a walk in the park. She finds inspiration in nature's colors and textures. Sometimes, she even takes a notebook with her to sketch out her new ideas. Being a fashion designer means being constantly aware of the world around you and finding inspiration in unexpected places. After her walk, Sarah returns to her studio to finish up her work for the day. She reviews her designs, makes any necessary adjustments, and prepares them for presentation. A fashion designer's work is never truly done, as there is always something new to create or improve upon. Finally, at around 9 p.m., Sarah wraps up her day. She turns off her computer, tidies up her workspace, and prepares for a well-deserved rest. Being a fashion designer is challenging but rewarding. It's a career that requires dedication, creativity, and passion. So, next time you consider what it's like to be a fashion designer, remember Sarah's daily routine. From waking up with a cup of coffee to sourcing materials and creating beautiful designs, a fashion designer's life is a whirlwind of creativity and hard work. Wake up, a day in the life of a financial. Have you ever wondered what's like to be a financial analyst? Well, get ready to wake up and step into the shoes of one. In this article, we will take a detailed look at the daily routine of a real financial analyst. As the alarm clock rings at 6 a.m., it's time to wake up and start the day. A financial analyst knows the importance of starting early and being organized. After a quick shower and a cup of coffee, it's time to head to the office. Arriving at the office around 7 a.m., our financial analyst settles into a quiet workspace. The first task of the day is to review the previous day's financial data. This involves analyzing charts, graphs, and numbers to identify trends and patterns. This step is crucial for understanding the overall financial health of the company. Once the review is complete, it's time for some number crunching. Our financial analyst spends a significant amount of time working with spreadsheets and financial models. They gather data from various sources, input the information into spreadsheets, and run complex calculations. This helps them generate reports and forecasts that are essential for decision-making within the company. By now, it's already mid-morning, and our financial analyst's attention shifts to meetings. These meetings can range from one-on-one -on -one discussions with colleagues to group presentations with company executives. Effective communication is vital in this role, as they need to explain complex financial concepts in a clear and concise manner. After the meetings, it's time for some lunch. Our financial analyst takes a break to recharge and refuel for the rest of the day. Often, they use this time to catch up with colleagues or network with other professionals in the financial industry. The afternoon brings a mix of tasks for our financial analyst. They might spend time researching market trends, studying economic indicators, or preparing financial reports for upcoming presentations. Attention to detail is crucial in this role, as they need to ensure accuracy in their analysis and predictions. As the workday nears its end, our financial analyst takes a moment to reflect on their accomplishments and plan for the next day. They use this time to prioritize tasks, set goals, and identify areas for improvement. Continuous learning is an important part of this profession and our financial analyst never stops seeking new knowledge to stay ahead in the ever-changing financial world. Before leaving the office, our financial analyst ensures that all their work is properly documented and saved. Keeping records is crucial not only for their own reference but also for compliance and auditing purposes. Attention to detail and organizational skills are essential in maintaining accurate and reliable financial records. After a productive day at the office, it's time to go home and relax. The life of a financial analyst can be demanding, but it is also rewarding. The ability to analyze complex financial data, make informed decisions, 
and contribute to the success of a company is fulfilling and impactful. So, if you've ever dreamt of becoming a financial analyst, wake up and pursue your passion. It's a challenging yet rewarding career that offers endless opportunities for growth and success. Remember, it all starts with a strong foundation in finance and a willingness to continuously learn and adapt. And who knows, one day, you might be the one waking up to make a difference in the financial world. Wake up, a day in the life of a graphic designer. Do you have a creative mind? Are you interested in art and design? If so, becoming a graphic designer might be the perfect career choice for you. In this article, we will explore what a typical day looks like for graphic designer. First things first, it's time to wake up and start the day. Just any other profession, a graphic designer follows a routine to stay organized and productive. After a good night's sleep, our graphic designer opens their eyes and stretches their arms, ready to embrace the challenges and excitement that lie ahead. After getting dressed and having a quick breakfast, our graphic designer checks their email and calendar. This is an essential step to stay on top of their projects and deadlines. It's important to always be prepared and plan ahead, so our designer makes a to-do list for the day. This helps them stay focused and prioritize tasks. Next, our graphic designer heads to their workspace. This could be a cozy home office or a creative studio. Whatever the environment, it needs to be conducive to creativity. A clutter-free desk, good lighting, and inspiring artwork on the walls are a must. The first task of the day for our graphic designer is brainstorming ideas. They gather inspiration from various sources such as books, magazines, and websites. They also take the time to research the latest design trends and techniques. This helps them come up with unique and innovative ideas for their clients' projects. Once the ideas are flowing, our graphic designer starts working on the computer. They use graphic design software to bring their ideas to life. This could involve creating logos, brochures, posters, or even designing websites. Precision and attention to detail are crucial at this stage. As our graphic designer works on their projects, they constantly communicate with their clients. This could be through email, phone calls, or even face-to-face -face meetings. Effective communication is vital to ensure that the client's expectations are met and that the design accurately represents their brand or message. Sometimes, our graphic designer collaborates with a team of other creatives. This could include copywriters, photographers, and web developers. Teamwork is essential in the design industry, as it allows for different perspectives and expertise to come together and create something truly special. As the day goes on, our graphic designer takes short breaks to rest their eyes and clear their mind. They might grab a cup of coffee or take a walk outside to refresh their creativity. These breaks are important for maintaining focus and preventing burnout. By the end of the day, our graphic designer reviews their work and makes any necessary adjustments. They ensure that everything is perfect before sending it off to the client. The satisfaction of seeing their designs come to life is truly rewarding. Finally, it's time to wrap up the day. Our graphic designer makes a note of their accomplishments and updates their to-do list for the next day. They tidy up their workspace, switch off the computer, and leave feeling proud of what they have achieved. As you can see, a day in the life of a graphic designer is full of creativity, problem-solving, and communication. It requires a keen eye for detail, a passion for art, and a love for all things design-related. If you are interested in pursuing a career in graphic design, remember to stay curious, always seek inspiration, and never stop learning. So, are you ready to wake up and embrace the exciting world of graphic design? The possibilities are endless, and the journey is waiting for you. Good luck on your creative endeavors! Wake up, a day in the life of a hairstylist. Do you often wonder what it's like to be a hairstylist? Well, today we are going to a glimpse into the daily routine of one. From waking up to finally closing the doors of their salon, let's explore a typical day in the life of a busy hairstylist. 
The alarm clock rings, and it's time for the hairstylist to wake up. They quickly get out of bed and start their morning routine. Just like everyone else, they their teeth and take refreshing shower to start the feeling clean and ready go. A good breakfast essential, so they sure to have a healthy meal to provide energy throughout the day. After dressed, our hairstylist checks the schedule for the day. They prepare the necessary, such as scissors, combs, and hair dryers, and pack into a bag. Time management is crucial, so they ensure they have enough time to reach the salon without any rush. Upon arriving at the salon, they find it clean and organized, ready to receive clients. They open the doors and turn on the lights, creating a welcoming atmosphere. As the first clients start to arrive, our hairstylist greets them with a warm smile and guides them towards the comfortable chairs. The hairstylist listens attentively as the clients describe their desired hairstyle. Communication is essential in this profession, so they ask questions to fully understand the client's wishes. They use vocabulary such as short, long, curly, and straight to clarify the desired outcome. It's important to make sure clients feel understood and comfortable before starting any work. Before the hairstylist starts cutting or styling the hair, they make sure the client's hair is clean and dry. They lead the clients to the wash basins and gently shampoo and rinse their hair. Using soft and fragrant shampoo, they carefully massage the scalp, ensuring a relaxing experience for the clients. Now it's time for the main task cutting and styling the hair. The hairstylist picks up their sharp scissors and skillfully trims away the excess hair following the desired style discussed with the clients. They use their knowledge of different haircuts to create the perfect look. Some clients may want a simple trim, while others may opt for a completely new hairstyle. The hairstylist is like an artist, bringing their clients' visions to life. After the haircut is complete, the hairstylist offers styling options. They can use different tools like curling irons, straighteners, and hair dryers to achieve the desired look. They ask the clients if they prefer curls, waves, or a sleek and straight finish. The hairstylist then uses their expertise to create the perfect hairstyle using their tools and products, such as hairspray or gel. Throughout the day, our hairstylist has a busy schedule. They work tirelessly to ensure each client leaves with a smile on their face feeling confident and satisfied with their new look. They chat with clients, building a personal connection and making them feel welcomed and valued. Some clients become regulars, visiting the salon every few weeks for touch-ups or new styles. As the day comes to an end, our hairstylist closes the salon doors with a sense of accomplishment. They gather their tools, clean up the salon, and prepare for the next day. Reflecting on a successful day, they take a moment to appreciate the artistry and personal fulfillment that comes with their profession. Being a hairstylist is not just about cutting hair it's about making others feel good about themselves. It's about transforming someone's appearance and boosting their confidence. So, if you have a passion for creativity, good communication skills, and a knack for making others look and feel their best, Becoming a hairstylist might be the perfect profession for you. Are you ready to embark on this exciting journey of being a hairstylist? Then wake up with a smile and start your day, bringing joy and beauty to others. Wake up, a day in the life of an interior designer. Have you ever wondered what it's like to be an interior designer? If you have a passion for creativity and making spaces beautiful, then this might just be the perfect career for you. In this article, we take a peek into the daily routine of a real interior designer and see what their typical day looks like. It's 6 a.m. and the alarm clock rings. Our interior designer, Alex, wakes up feeling refreshed and ready to take on the day. The first thing Alex does is make a cup of coffee to help jumpstart the morning. After a quick breakfast, it's time to tackle the day ahead. At 8 a.m., Alex heads to the office. As an interior designer, a big part of the job involves meeting with clients and discussing their design needs. 
Today, Alex has a meeting with a new client who wants to renovate their living room. They go through floor plans and color swatches, discussing the client's vision and preferences. Alex takes notes and asks questions to ensure they fully understand what the client wants. After the meeting, it's time for some research. Alex spends a few hours looking for inspiration and ideas for the client's living room. They browse through design magazines, websites, and even visit furniture stores to find suitable pieces. Alex takes photographs of potential furniture and decor options to share with the client later. Lunchtime rolls around, and Alex takes a break to recharge. This is a great opportunity to catch up with colleagues or take a walk outside to clear the mind. It's important to have a balance between work and personal time, so Alex makes sure to take breaks throughout the day. In the afternoon, Alex heads out to meet with clients at their home. This time, it's a couple who wants to redesign their kitchen. They walk through the space, discussing ideas and considering different layouts. Alex takes measurements and photographs to refer back to when creating the design plan. Back at the office, Alex starts working on the design plan for the kitchen project. This involves creating floor plans, 3D models, and mood boards to visualize the final result. It's a creative process that requires attention to detail and a keen eye for aesthetics. Alex takes their time to make sure every element fits together harmoniously. As the day comes to an end, Alex prepares for tomorrow's meetings and presentations. They review notes, make a to-do list, and organize all the materials they need. Planning ahead is essential to stay on track and meet deadlines. With the workday done, Alex heads home feeling satisfied with the progress made. Being an interior designer is a fulfilling career that allows for both creativity and problem solving. It's a job that requires imagination and the ability to work closely with clients to bring their visions to life. So, if you've always dreamed of creating beautiful spaces and transforming people's lives, consider becoming an interior designer. With dedication and passion, you can wake up every day excited to turn dreams into reality. Remember, being a beginner in any field requires patience and continuous learning. But don't let that deter you. With the right mindset and motivation, you have the potential to become a successful interior designer. Wake up to a world of design possibilities and embrace the journey towards a rewarding career. Good luck! Wake up! A day in the life of journalist. Have you ever wondered what day in the life a journalist looks like? Well, get ready to discover the fascinating world of journalism. In this article, we will explore the daily routine of a journalist. So, put on your journalist hat and let's dive in. Morning routine. Every morning, a journalist's day starts with the sound of their alarm clock. Just like most people, they need to wake up early to get ready for work. After waking up, the journalist quickly gets ready, making sure to dress professionally. Looking their best is essential as they have to meet all kinds of people during the day. Once dressed, the journalist heads to the nearest coffee shop for their morning dose of caffeine. Coffee helps kickstart their day and gives them the energy they need to stay active and alert. As they sip their coffee, they catch up on the latest news by reading newspapers or checking their emails. The working day, with their caffeine fix in place. A journalist heads to the office or, in some cases, directly to the location where a news story is unfolding. Their job is never the same, every day brings new challenges and surprises. At the office, journalists attend daily meetings where they discuss story ideas and assignments with their colleagues. They brainstorm topics and plan their day accordingly. Sometimes, journalists need to do research to gather information about a story ensuring the facts are accurate. Once they leave the office, journalists hit the streets to report on breaking news stories or conduct interviews. They may visit crime scenes, political rallies, or simply stop people on the street for an opinion on a current event. They ensure they have all the facts, making sure to gather evidence and information through interviews and research. Writing it down. After gathering all the necessary information, 
a journalist goes back to the office or finds a quiet place to write their article. Writing skills are crucial for a journalist, as they need to present the news in a clear and engaging way. Journalists use their creativity to weave words together and create a compelling piece. They strive to keep readers informed and interested in the story they are sharing. Proofreading and editing are essential to ensure the accuracy and clarity of their writing. Meeting deadlines. In the world of journalism, meeting deadlines is crucial. A journalist needs to deliver their article on time so that readers can stay up to date with the news. Sometimes, journalists even need to submit articles on the spot, especially for broadcasting or live updates. It can be stressful, but experienced journalists know how to manage their time effectively. End of the day. As the day winds down, a journalist finishes up any pending work and discusses with their editor about future stories and assignments. They may attend press conferences or events in the evening, gathering more information and networking with other professionals. Finally, they take some time to unwind and recharge for the next day. Whether it's going for a run, reading a book, or spending quality time with loved ones, journalists understand the importance of taking care of themselves outside of work. Being a journalist is an exciting and demanding profession. Their day consists of a blend of research, interviews, and writing, all while chasing the latest news. They strive to inform the public and keep society connected. So, the next time you read an article or watch the news, take a moment to appreciate the hard work and dedication that journalists put into their daily routine. Wake up. A day in the life of a lawyer. Every morning, the alarm rings at 6 a.m., signaling the start of another busy day for John, a lawyer. He stretches his arms and takes a deep breath, ready to face the challenges ahead. John's routine is packed with meetings, paperwork, and court appearances, but he loves his job and wouldn't have it any other way. After getting dressed in his sharp suit and tie, John heads to the kitchen for a quick breakfast. He pours himself a cup of strong coffee and grabs a slice of toast before rushing out the door. As he walks to work, he takes in the fresh morning air and mentally prepares himself for the day ahead. Arriving at the law firm, John is greeted by his colleagues as he makes his way to his office. His desk is cluttered with files and legal documents, a testament to the amount of work he has on his plate. He sits down and starts going through his emails, responding to clients and setting up appointments. At 30 a.m., John heads to the conference room for a meeting with his fellow. They discuss ongoing cases, share updates, and exchange ideas. John listens attent, taking notes and offering his insights when necessary. Being a lawyer requires not expertise but also strong communication and problem-solving skills. Once the meeting is over, John dives into his caseload. He carefully reviews documents, conducts research, and prepares for upcoming court appearances. As a lawyer, attention to detail is crucial, as even the smallest oversight can have a significant impact on a client's case. Alongside his legal work, John also spends time on administrative tasks such as filing paperwork and organizing client files. At noon, John takes a short break to have lunch. He usually brings a packed meal from home, as he prefers healthy and homemade food. Sometimes, he joins his colleagues in the office cafeteria for a quick chat, but he knows his time is valuable and needs to make the most of it. After lunch, John spends the afternoon attending client meetings. He listens carefully to their concerns, asks probing questions, and provides legal advice based on his expertise. Building a strong rapport with clients is crucial in this profession, as it fosters trust and ensures a smooth working relationship. As the afternoon progresses, John receives a call from a court clerk, informing him of a newly scheduled hearing. He quickly grabs his coat, gathers the necessary documents, and heads out the door. The courtroom is bustling with activity, as lawyers, judges, and other legal professionals go about their duties. John confidently presents his case, arguing passionately and persuasively on behalf of his client. 
With the court session over, John heads back to the office to wrap up his day. He spends the remaining hours tying up loose ends, finalizing paperwork, and responding to any urgent client emails. At 6 p.m., he finally closes his laptop, satisfied with a job well done. As John walks home, he reflects on his day as a lawyer. It is undoubtedly challenging and demanding, but it also brings a sense of fulfillment in helping others navigate the complex legal system. He feels fortunate to have chosen a career that enables him to make a difference in people's lives. Back at home, John takes a moment to unwind before diving into his personal life. Whether it's spending time with family and friends, pursuing hobbies, or simply relaxing, he cherishes these moments outside of work. As he drifts off to sleep, John is grateful for the experiences he has had as a lawyer. He knows that tomorrow will bring new challenges and opportunities, and he is ready to wake up and face them head-on once again. Being a lawyer involves a demanding routine filled with meetings, paperwork, and court appearances. Attention to detail, strong communication skills, and a passion for helping others are vital characteristics of a successful lawyer. While the profession requires hard work and dedication, it also offers a rewarding experience in making a meaningful impact in people's lives. So, if you're considering a career in law, be prepared to wake up every day ready to take on the challenges that lie ahead. Wake up, a day in the life of a librarian. Have you ever wondered what it's like to work as a librarian? In this article, we will take a glimpse into the daily routine of a librarian and explore the interesting world of books, knowledge, and organization. Our story begins with Maria, a librarian who has been working at local library for several years. Every morning, Maria wakes up at 7 o'clock sharp. She believes that starting the day early is the key to productivity and success. After a refreshing shower, she enjoys a hearty breakfast to energize herself for the day ahead. At 8 o'clock, Maria arrives at the library. The first task on her agenda is to unlock the library doors and set up everything for the opening. She starts by turning on the computers, checking the shelves for any misplaced books, and tidying up the reading areas. She wants the library to be a welcoming place for everyone who comes through its doors. Once the library opens at 9 o'clock, Maria greets the first visitors with a warm smile. Some people come to borrow books while others come to read or study. Maria's role is to assist them in finding the books they need and answer any questions they may have. She spends a lot of time searching the library's computer catalog to locate books, ensuring that each visitor leaves satisfied. Throughout her day, Maria also helps to organize various events and workshops at the library. From book clubs to story times for children, her goal is to create a sense of community and love for reading. She keeps a busy schedule, preparing materials, setting up meeting rooms, and introducing guest speakers. Each event is carefully planned to engage and inspire library visitors. Lunchtime arrives, and Maria takes a well-deserved break. She brings her own lunch from home, often a delicious sandwich or a salad. During this time, she socializes with her colleagues, discussing books, and sharing recommendations. The library staff is like a family, united by their passion literature and the joy of helping others. After lunch, Maria resumes her tasks. One of her main responsibilities is managing the return of borrowed books. She checks each book for damages and updates the records in the library's database. If a book is overdue, she sends a friendly reminder to the borrower ensuring that everyone follows the library's rules. Another important aspect of Maria's job is to maintain the library's collection. She carefully selects new books to purchase, basing her decisions on popular authors, genres, and growing interests in the community. Maria believes that a diverse collection is essential to cater to different tastes and encourage people to explore new topics. As the day comes to an end, Maria reflects on the numerous tasks she has completed. She feels a sense of fulfillment knowing that she has helped people in their quest for knowledge. Before closing the library, she makes sure everything is in order the chairs are stacked, 
The books are neatly arranged, and the lights are switched off. She wants the library to be a place of peace and inspiration, ready to welcome visitors the next day. Finally, Maria heads home. Once again, she enjoys a quiet evening in the company of books. Reading is not just her profession, but also her passion. She believes that books have the power to educate, entertain, and transform lives. Maria goes to bed with a smile on her face, knowing that tomorrow she will wake up and do it all over again, embracing the world of books and sharing her love for reading with others. Being a librarian is much more than just organizing books. It is a profession that involves connecting people with knowledge, fostering a love for reading, and creating a sense of community. It requires dedication, organization skills, and a genuine passion for helping others. So, next time you visit your local library, take a moment to appreciate the librarians who work diligently behind the scenes to make it a special place for everyone.